Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss shadow paging. But first of all, my name is Hannibal Lynchy and I am 22 years old. I'm a student in Libya studying uh, electronic technology. Okay, shadow paging is one of the main techniques that has been done by the DBMS. What is DBMS? Database Management System. So the, 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 the B, DBMS, sorry, DDB, DBMS is uh, responsible of recovering the transaction when it fails. So, for example, if we have a failure or if we have some failure arrives to the system or some transactions fails or some transaction crashes or the system crashes, the transaction, oh, sorry, the recovery management control is going to take step forward and does it work and does the work. So, in the recovery management system, we have two main mechanisms. The first one is log-based recovery. And that we're not going to discuss about it today. Today, we're going to talk about the second thing, which is shadow paging. The shadow paging mechanism is just so simple. Follow me. Let's say deep in. Okay, I hope you guys see this pin. So anyway, in the shadow paging, we have two tables. These two tables are initially empty. What does that mean? The current directory and Let's just change this one. Okay. And the shadow directory are initially uh, by default is are empty. So great. What is that thing in the middle? It called the database disk blocks. It keeps um, it keeps track of the records that arrive to this uh, to this model, to this shadow paging model, and saves it here. So does the system do the work? I know it's a little bit com a little bit complicated. Just follow me, and everything is gonna be okay. So the first thing, when the data arrives to this to this database disk block, as you can say, page number five, page number one, page number four, page number two, page number three, okay, <clears throat> page number six as well. All of these um, database disk block disk blocks records or pages are being pointed by the same value that indicates in the current directory table. So what does that mean? The value number one here is going to be, is, is, is going to point into the page number one. Number two, number two as well, number three, number three, and etc. So as a conclusion, the current directory table is you could say is you can reference it as a a creation or as a pointer okay okay so the second step after we uh, have managed to point the these small uh, little records by the current directory table is that we copy the same values that uh, has been pointed by the current directory table and we shall put it inside the shadow directory table so what does that mean is that I'm going to take an, or I'm going to point to the same records that has been pointed by the current directory table inside the shadow directory table so we can find that's why we can find the number one here points points to the page number one number two also points to the page number two number four number four and etc so this was the first loop okay this was the first loop. The second one, let's open the second one here. Okay, open with, okay. The second one is when some new information, new records arrive to the database disk blocks pages, as we can say, as we can recognize here, page number two and page number five, <coughs> the new, sorry, the new values are going to be pointed by the same value here in the current directory table. So that's why, that's why you can find page number two has been pointed now to the new value. And page number five has been pointed now to the new value. Okay, great. Now the shadow directory table, as you can see and recognize, uh, is still pointing to the old value. Why that? Since this is a, you can say, an iteration mode, and the current directory starts first, 
and the, the shadow directory copies from the current directory so you can say now in this in this particular step which is number two the, sh the, the shadow directory table has still not get the new information from the current directory table since it takes the information from this table his brother okay why why we did this why we did this and this is the main question guys if you if you understand it you will understand the whole idea if you guys understand why current table or current directory table is not putting or is not is not putting the exact value in the exact time in the shadow directory table why because if some failure happens here and all of these all of these little lines has been has been has been deleted just like this boom how can i take or how can i know that or how oh sorry how can i know the latest index or the latest pointers that or the latest uh, level that i reached in the in these records how can i do this how can i know when i've reached the current directory table is going to ask himself well how can i know um the latest values that i have reached great how does that it takes the same copies that he did he put himself inside of the shadow directory table and start from here so he doesn't have to this current this current directory table after a crash doesn't have to start all over again from scratch from zero it only copies the same values that he put earlier so it starts from them that's why we put two different tables in two different pointers and now guys if you recognized and if you realize that uh, the current directory table gets crashed why does the shadow directory table does not get crashed because the shadow directory table is saved on stable storage. What is stable storage? Stable storage can be cloud. Stable storage can be disk. Stable storage can be flash. So, and this one, we can reference it as RAM. Random access memory. So if something happens to the RAM, we go to the stable storage and takes the, the old values, the same values that has been reached by the ram when it when it when it was working and put it inside uh, of the current directory table again and start and keeps doing this procedure all over again so now let's continue after the transaction has successfully committed we must put the new values here okay we must put the new values from here into where into the shadow directory table and keeps doing this process again and again and again and as you guys look here and as you guys recognize here we can say you can say you can see in the left uh, the, the the values are uh, they're the same and on the right as you can say the values has changed the, uh, the 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 record the record number five on the right has been is now pointing to the new page and the record number two now is pointing to the new page okay the last step is called garbage collecting what does that mean uh, the garbage collecting is now uh, when i already pointed to the new values there is no need to put the old values which was page number two old and page number five old and this takes advantage of the memory because i'm collecting the garbage and i must do that because i need these slots i need these records to put new data in and and this and this is how the main mechanisms of this the main mechanism of this shadow paging works i hope you guys um somehow understand it uh thank you you can visit my facebook um page and contact me in case if you didn't understand something and if you wanted you know to get more information about this subject uh you can find it below in the description i hope you guys like this video i hope you liked uh, everything okay and remember leave like please okay if you do not leave like i will be mad <laughs> okay bandai bandai okay how, how, how to close this thing um sorry <laughs> sorry for all of this okay bye bye goodbye